hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by so the time has finally come where, <laughs> where i am getting ready to do the valentine's day treats for my daughter and this is bittersweet because it's her last year in elementary school and teachers in middle school don't really do the whole classroom Valentine's Day swap like they do with the little kids. So I'm kind of sad about it, but um, my daughter's like, it's okay, mom, I'll still do it in middle school. And I'm like, uh, no, I don't think you will. <laughs> it all depends on the teacher, I guess. I have no idea. Uh, but... I am making these little sweet treats, very simple decoration as you can see, um, using the Simple Stories My Valentine's Collection. For this, I, ha I do have a lot of stuff for this collection and that's because I'm going to be making different projects, Valentine inspired projects, um, using this collection so i do have some 12 by 12 um, pages that you guys have already seen i did pick up the washi tape i did pick up um the ephemera it's all over here guys on the side uh what else i've already pre-cut um these note cards i did the four by fours and then I did the three by fours and I think, yeah, there's a few uh, four by six. So I've already pre-cut this, put this aside. I'm actually not going to use this for these projects, for this project specifically. Um, in this project, because I am doing a lot of these, I think there is... I'm going to make a few extra just in case, but I believe that she has... 22 kids in one class and then about 18 on the other so i'm gonna make about 40. the thing is the die that i use to cut this is from lawn fawn and it is this one that's called pillow box and it is the perfect size sorry i kind of kind of brushed it out the uh, off the view but um yeah it's it's called pillow box and it's by lawn fawn and i'm gonna be using that but see let me show you before i'm move the, moving this aside if you pick a piece of paper which i've already cut some out it um fits in here like so and I'm trying to preserve all the scraps that I can because I am doing a lot of a lot of projects. So I want to make sure that I have enough. Um, and you guys know, I think I've shared this before. I always get a mesh bag from Michaels. And I think last time I mentioned them, I told you guys that it was like seven bucks, but they're not, you guys. They're I confirmed they're $2.99. Um, unless they are on sale and they are by Artist Loft. And I always get a mesh bag, put all my scraps in there. Um, and just kind of, once I finish with the project, I just kind of throw everything in here. And then when I'm ready to work on the next project, then I pull everything out and see um, and use what I have. Basically, I'm trying to stretch it, you guys. I'm trying to stretch it so I don't um, end up buying more things. And spending more money you know the you know the deal okay so um i am hoping let me see how many sheets does this have this sheet has 24 papers so this is only going to give me enough for one class but like i said i do have 12 by 12 sheets that i'm just going to end up cutting and trimming um so that i could get the most out of them so what i'm looking for is i am going to bring my big shot i'm going to scoot it over as much as i can cut the die cut out and then trim this so that i could use this for scraps for the future projects so basically there is some gorgeous paper in here you guys that i wish i did not have to cut but i feel like i have no option um, because there's some paper in here that I feel like you could just 
use for, I don't know, for like a vintage romantic notebook or this one. I just love this one. So I don't really want to use it, but I feel like I honestly have no choice. So the first step I'm going to do, and I'm just going to show you one, and then basically I'm using this for all the background. So this one's gorgeous also that you could just use for other projects not you could blend it in to different projects not just necessarily valentine's day i love that background this one is gorgeous of course the blue i mean they're all gorgeous like that and then some of the patterns repeat themselves so i didn't want to use this one but like i said i need to make like 40 of these things so it's just gonna go I am going to sit here and let me move that aside and bring my big shot here and just kind of see which side I want it. I kind of want this way, but it's okay, it doesn't matter. They're, little, they're for kids, you guys. What's the first thing that they're going to do? Unless they're craft lovers, they're probably going to throw this away. So, so I'm not going to worry about being too picky. Um, and this is what it looks like. And then it already has the score lines for you that you just have to bend and play with and then decorate so i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna speed through everything i'm gonna save my scraps come back in um, and work on those um cut them out trim them and make them pretty for later and i am going to continue to cut them all out um also you don't necessarily have to have it laying down. Let me explain. So if you guys can see, right, because I'm not really caring about the pattern, which way I'm cutting or setting the die, because you can set it this way or you can set it this way based on the paper. But I don't really, it doesn't really matter because look, this one, I made it laying down. So basically you open it this way, right? You just pull right here and open it. But you can also do the same thing standing up. So it really doesn't matter. Yes, I'm gonna have some of them that stand up and then some of them that lay down this way. So um, like I said, you guys, it's that's not really important. But I guess if you're picky, <laughs> then by all means. So like I said, let me sit here um, I'm probably either going to speed you guys up or I am going to do this off camera. Um, and while I'm off camera, I'm also going to trim this and reserve my scraps um, for whatever I could think of using them later. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys. Okay. So sorry. I was just kind of just right dressing my... Um, my paper here but it's a mess just gonna put this aside and i'm gonna show you how easy this is save my scraps i just finished trimming that that paper or those papers and like i said i have my little stack here of these um pillow boxes so very simple right i told you guys that the score line is already there for you so I'm honestly just going to use my nail because, because I can. <laughs> so that I don't pull any more tools out and then I have a mess and I lose them. So I just kind of gently bended everything. Um, this one is actually going to go laying down because I just did it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is you can add ribbon if you want to. I don't know that I will. Um, 
what I wanted to do is I wanted to use the washi tape for this purpose. This washi tape I'm going to hoard because honestly it's just so gorgeous and it doesn't even look like it's Valentine's. It looks honestly like a um like a romantic French kind of style. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe, but I absolutely love it. So I'm going to hoard this one and I'm going to use these two to kind of help me make this loop around. I didn't use this. I Obviously, this is paper right here, but I am wanting to use some of the washi tape, except that this one's kind of go... Well, it's, you know what? The hearts are going to be upside down anyways because look, the hearts are going the right direction here. But when you flip it over, the hearts are upside down. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe I could make this one standing up, which would be a-okay. So the first thing I want to do is open it this way. And we are going to use this this uh, washi tape which is a pretty blue that's why i had like some teal color here ribbon sparkly because i plan to use some of them and i am just going to eyeball the center and kind of kind of make it a little bit straight like that hopefully Okay, and then I'm going to trim like so. And then I'm going to add some ephemera or some cutouts. I do have some stickers. I feel like these stickers right here are like too much and maybe not my style. So I can easily put these here and call it a day like so okay the first thing I want to do is seal oh you know what since this one's going up I you can hardly tell especially because this is dark but I did put um, my daughter's name I'm just Honestly, writing it anywhere before we do all the adhesive and gluing together and everything. So, I'm going to start with the sides that have the, what is this called, you guys? I was going to say, like this, this cut right here. Can you see? And I'm just going to glue them together, but make sure that they're dress right dress, which means, um even straight there and then I'm gonna do this one here and it gives me this pocket so I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm using my Nubo glue it seems to uh, adhere everything really well so I have no issues with that it's actually really good glue liquid glue I'm still on the search for tape runner you guys still on the search per the perfect one same thing give hold it for a little bit and then it gives me this pocket right here right over it like that and if you want which is what I did to this one I popped this one up you could do the same thing with this one if you want to if you want to it's not necessary but we can just using the, what are these? I think these are We Are Memory uh, adhesive foam dots from We Are Memory Keepers. And okay, so what I'm putting inside is some treats. I am putting, if I don't eat them all myself, I'm putting a, a red and gold well, you know what? I actually need to glue this first. So let me peel the backing off of this. 
and I am going to add a little bit of glue to the dots so that it holds a little bit better. And wait, wait, wait. I am going to add some teal or maybe some gold. I also have some gold here. Okay, so I am going to, so I go back to this. So I'm going to add the two hearts and then I also have some dum-dums. What are these? Yeah, dum-dums. They fit perfectly right there in that space. I don't know if you see this empty space right here with the where the hearts don't sit. I'm just going to put that in there and then I'm going to glue this part right here. Same thing, just add some glue like that. And then just kind of bend it over like you're making a taco or a burrito. <laughs> you guys know I must be hungry. <laughs> Let me um, just kind of hold it in place there for a minute. And then I'm going to bring over, I have different kinds of ribbon, you guys. I have some pink one, I have some gold one, I have some teal because this collection has blue in it. Um, and I am going to just honestly tie a quick and simple bow on the side if this thing cooperates with me. Like so, and then Let me make the thing and then try to adjust, cut the extra here. And it doesn't matter if they hang up, they hang over or if they're loose, but I do wanna keep it in the middle there. And then I am going to bring my little sticker and adhere it to the center. And then I'm going to try to fix there. Just going to hold it a little bit so that the glue has time to dry and adhere to something. And then, for instance, if you go around and you see how this side is lifting a little bit because of the bulkiness from the chocolate and the lollipop, just put it back down. It doesn't affect anything and it doesn't hurt anything. Or you don't have to. It's up to you, like I said. These are going to little kids. They're honestly more than likely going to be destroyed. So, <laughs> so they're only pretty for presentation. Um, and I don't want to put too, too much effort, but I still want to make them adorable. Um, so, so yeah, this is going to be my daughter's Valentine's Day treats. Very adorable, very cute with the collection and everything. I'm just holding down here the corners and pressing but honestly it's already dry and like I said some of them will go standing up some of them can be laid this way but that is going to be the Valentine's Day craft you guys I hope that you love the idea thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next time have a good one bye